Let's have a big warm welcome for Stuart Mallard. <laughs> Without further ado, let's have our best of breed winners in. First of all, the Alaskan Malamutes. The Bernese Mountain Dog. The Boxer. The Bull Mastiff. The Doberman. The Giant Schnauzer. The Great Dane. The Dog de Bordeaux. The Hoverbart. The Leonberger. The Portuguese Water Dog. The Rockweiler. The Russian Black Terrier. The Siberian Husky. And from the ABNSC, the Bouvier de Flandre. And one more. The Neapolitan Mastiff. Leading the group, it is the Tibetan Mastiff. <laughs> Over the centuries, these dogs were selectively bred to become guards and search and rescue dogs. Arguably, the working group consists of some of the most heroic canines in the world, aiding humans in many walks of life, including the Boxer, Great Dane and St Bernard. This group consists of real specialists in their field who excel in their line of work. First up is the Alaskan Malamute. This is a dog, number 3351. The breed was judged today by Kevin Young and there was an entry of 49. The largest and oldest of the Arctic sled dogs, the Alaskan Malamute possesses great strength and endurance. An American breed, the Alaskan Malamute was named after the native Inuit tribe called Malamutes, who settled in Alaska. They've always been used as sled dogs for heavy freighting in the Arctic, the breed is cousin to the other Arctic breeds, the Samoyed, the Siberian Husky, and the American Eskimo Dog. The Alaskan Malamute, number 3351. There was an entry of 60 Bernese Mountain Dogs for a judge, Mr. Albert White. Albert found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 3418. The Bernese carries the traditional Swiss colouring of black and tan with white markings. Bernese Mountain Dogs, or Berner Sennenhund, originated in Switzerland and are named for the canton of Bern. Historically, Berners were used as general purpose farm dogs. Their large, sturdy frames and calm, confident temperaments made them ideal for pulling carts to market, driving dairy cattle, watching the farm, and acting as companions to farmers. The Bernese Mountain Dog 3418. Maria Harding judged boxers and from an entry of 108, she awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 3488. The 
well-conditioned middleweight athlete of dogdom, the boxer is a powerful dog with an intelligent and alert expression. Developed in Germany in the 19th century, boxers were originally used for dogfighting and to run down and hold large games such as wild boar and bison until the hunter could arrive. It is thought that his name may have come from a corruption of the German word Beiser, the boxer being a refined version of the Bullenbeiser, meaning bullbiter. The best of breed boxer, 3488. Bull Mastiffs were judged by Marion McArdle. Marion found her best of breed winner in number 3575, a dog, and there was an entry of 48. The Bull Mastiff's known history in England begins around 1860 when they were developed to keep large estates and game preserves free from poachers. Gamekeepers needed a dog that could track quietly, cover short distances quickly, and pin and hold poachers without mauling them. The foundation breeding was 60% Mastiff and 40% Bulldog. Breeders were hoping to create a dog faster and more aggressive than the Mastiff, yet bigger but not as ferocious as the Bulldog. The Bull Mastiff, 3575. And next we have the Doberman. This is a bitch, number 3619, who won best of breed today under Jane Brock, and there was an entry of 91. Although the roots of the breed are relatively obscure, it is thought that the Doberman Pinscher originated in Germany around the 19th century, taking its name from tax collector Louis Doberman, who desired a medium-sized dog to perform as a guard dog as well as a companion. Breeds utilized to develop the Doberman may have included the Rottweiler, Black and Tan Terrier, and the German Pinscher to combine a mix of brain, soundness, toughness of character, and quick terrier-like action. The Doberman, 3619. Jane Tibbs judged an entry of 58 Dog de Bordeaux today, and she awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 3725. The Dog de Bordeaux's history is indeed a mystery. Different theories link him to the Bull Mastiff, Bulldog, Tibetan Mastiff, and the ancient Dog de Bordeaux of Aquitaine. In any case, the Dog de Bordeaux has been used as a guardian, hunter, and fighter. They were trained to bait bulls, bears, and jaguars, hunt boars, herd cattle, and protect the homes and businesses of their masters. This is the Dog de Bordeaux 3725.
There was an entry of 13 giant schnauzers for Martin Freeman today. Martin awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 3750. The giant schnauzer developed in Württemberg and Bavaria sections of Germany, which were both agricultural areas where dogs were in high demand as farm help. He aided the shepherd in driving livestock to market and was used as a guard dog and mascot by the butchers and breweries. During World War I, the breed was recognised in Germany for its intelligence and trainability, becoming one of the breeds used for police training. The giant schnauzer 3750. Great Danes were judged today by Samantha Dolby. There was an entry of 42 from which Samantha found her winner in this bitch, number 3778. Historians claim that there are drawings of dogs that resemble the Great Dane on Egyptian monuments from roughly 3000 BC. A gentle giant, the Great Dane is nothing short of majestic and is sometimes referred to as Dogdom's Apollo. Despite his name, the breed is actually the national dog of Germany, where known as the Deutsche Doggen, the breed was developed for hunting wild boar. The breed was introduced to Great Britain in 1877. The Great Dane, number 3778. Albert White ran the rule over Hobble Barts today. His best of breed winner from an entry of seven was this dog, number 3800. The Hobble Bart is a breed of considerable antiquity. Records of dogs of this type date as far back as the 1200s, and the breed has been known for many centuries as a guard dog, mainly at the farmyard. After a blank period in its history, it re-emerged in the early 1900s, thanks to the efforts of Kurt Kerning. The Hobbit Bar, 3800. <laughs> Next we come to the Leonberger. The breed was judged today by Brenda Banbury. Best of breed was this bitch, number 3846, from an entry of 44. The Leonberger was created in 1800 by the then mayor of Leonberg, Heinrich Essig, to honour his town. Their original purpose was to be a family, farm and draft dog. The breed caught the attention of popular German artists who used them as models, and they've even been featured on the stamps of various European countries. Leonbergers almost became extinct after World War I, but were revived by dedicated enthusiasts. The Leonberger, number 3846.
entry of eight in the Apolton Mastiff for Alan Meese today. And Alan found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 3855. An ancient breed, the Neapolitan Mastiff's lineage, can be traced back to ancient Egypt, Persia, Mesopotamia and Asia, to the dogs of war used by the Roman army. The breed later existed on estates and farms in northern Italy, designed to be imposing in appearance for use as a defender of owner and property. The breed so impressed the painter, Piero Scanziani, that he started his own kennel and he is considered the modern father of the breed. Neapolitan Mastiff 3855. Portuguese water dogs were judged today by Aya Costello from an entry of 16. Aya selected this dog number 3868 as best of breed. Referred to as the Child de Agua or Dog of Water in its native Portugal, the Portuguese water dog was bred to accompany fishermen on their boats. Although he shares a common background with other European water dogs, it is believed he came to Portugal with the Moors from North Africa. An exceptional swimmer and diver, the breed retrieved broken nets, dove for fish, carried messages between boats and to shore, and guarded the boat for his master in foreign ports. Portuguese water dog, 3868. The Rottweiler is next to be assessed, and this is the bitch number 3900. Kari Yavanen was today's judge, and there was an entry of 102. The Rottweiler's ancestors were the drover's dogs, accompanying the herds the Romans brought with them when invading Europe. The controllable herding and guarding instincts were recognised by the Germans, and dogs were selectively bred for these traits. They were especially known around the town of Rottweil, for which which for 1800 years was a centre for livestock trading. This is the Rock Violin, number 3900. This is the Russian Black Terrier, and this was another breed judged today by Alan Meese. There was an entry of 12, and Alan found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 3983. The Russian Black Terrier's history is another which is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Following World War II, the Soviets sought to reintroduce purebred dogs into the mainstream. Red Star Kennel, the state-operated organization, chartered to provide working dogs for the armed services, actively developed a new breed, which became the Black Russian Terrier. Though the early Russian Black Terriers did not look the same as today's, Red Star was successful early on in producing a big, strong, unpretentious dog 
that demonstrated trainability and guarding qualities. The Russian Black Terrier, 3983. There was an entry of 55 Siberian Huskies for Judge Simon Luxmore. Simon awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 4027. The Siberian Husky is widely believed to have originated from within the Chukchi tribe of the Eastern Siberian Peninsula. These dogs were used in 1908 for the All Alaskan Sweepstakes, which consisted of a 408 mile sled dog race and served in the Army's Arctic Circuit and rescue unit during World War II. The Siberian Husky 4027. Now we come to the Tibetan Mastiff. This is a dog number 4088. He was awarded Best of Breed today by David Cavill from an entry of 19. The origins of the Tibetan Mastiff are also somewhat murky, but earliest written accounts place a large dog around 11 B 1100 BC in China. The breed remained isolated in the Himalayan mountains where it developed into the Tibetan Mastiff we know today. Primarily a family and property guardian, the breed was traditionally kept confined during the day then let loose at night. They were left behind to guard the tents and families when the flocks were moved to higher pasture. The Tibetan Mastiff 4088 David Guy judged the any variety not separately classified for an entry of 27. He awarded best of breed to this dog, number 4110, which of course is the Bouvier de Flandre. Bouvier can be translated as ox herd or cattle herder, and each French or Belgian region has its own type. This type from Flanders gained a wider reputation during the First World War, when it was used both as an ambulance dog and a messenger. Many modern pedigrees trace back to a dog saved by a Belgian army vet after the breed all but died out. The Bouvier de Flandre, 4110. Stuart's ready to make his shortlist. Now the Burmese Mountain Dog, the Boxer and the Bull Mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff and the Portuguese Water Dog. And the Rottweiler. And the Tibetan Mastiff and the Bouvier de Flandre.
A big hand, the best for our the best degree winners. Thank you very much. Once again, let's hear our appreciation for those shortlisted. First of all, it's the Burning Mountain Dog. Turn of the boxer. <laughs> the bull mastiff. The Neapolitan Mastiff. Portuguese water dog. The rock violo. The Tibetan Mastiff. And finally, the Bouvier de Flandre. Call to the boards. <laughs> and winning the working group here at Richmond Championship Dog Show 2016, it is the Bouvier de Flandre. Number 4110. In group two, the Bull Mastiff 3575. Group three goes to the Bernese Mountain Dog 3418. Completing the working group, it is the Portuguese Water Dog 3868. Thank you very much for all the best of breed winners. A big hand for those as well, please, that were shortlisted. And let's see our working group winners go around, led by Group 1 winner, it is the Bouvier de Flandre, followed by the Bull Mastiff, the Bernese Mountain Dog, and the Portuguese Water Dog. Thank you very much, everybody, for braving the weather to stay and support the breeze. It's much appreciated. We hope to see you back tomorrow. If we don't, we hope you have a safe journey home. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>